HyperX dropped a new headset, so your girl is making a video on it. What's going on everybody? It's your girl Island Wolf, and today we're going to be talking about the HyperX Cloud 2 wireless gaming headset. So off rip, the headset already impressed me. This bad boy has up to 30 hours of battery life. 30 hours! That is over a day's worth of gaming. Hell, if you don't even play the game every day, you play for like, what, like three hours a day? That's 10 days of battery life before you have to charge it. That is insane. I, I was very impressed when I, uh, when I read that. It also features a 2.4 gigahertz wireless, so fast connection for seamless audio. The range is up to 20 meters. And you, so you can step away, go to the kitchen, walk to the bathroom, you know, do what you gotta do. Still have your entertainment, still be able to talk to your friends. It also features HyperX Signature Comfort. So it has a memory foam, it has premium leatherette, it has great weight distribution, and it has a good clamping force. It has immersive audio, dynamic 53 millimeter speakers with neodymium magnets. 53, that's pretty big. I Usually it's like what, 40 or 50, but 53, that's, that's a lot. This headset is durable and reliable. It has flexible aluminum frame to adjust to various head sizes. So like if you got a big head, you got a small head, you got a weird shaped round peanut head, you got a square head, you got a block of cheese on your head, it gonna fit. My headset right here, these headphones, you know, like I have it on the tightest one because I kind of have a small head, but boom, you do this. I would say these are not a good example of it because like it's pretty loose and I've been having these tap on for a long time but imagine like it's a lot tighter than this so when you first get a headset you know you, it's a little stiff you gotta break that bad boy in but you'd be alright so for my head it'll probably fit pretty well Pe keep it on the tightest one because I need it tight uh, for some people they like it loose they got big heads some people wear hats so whatever you do this headset will probably fit on your head because I know some people have really big heads and they complain that like Astros hurt their ears or something I'm just like how big is your head, bro? <laughs> like, dang. It features virtual 7.1 surround sound. The 7.1 surround sound can be toggled for an improved positional audio and expand sense of space. So for virtual 7.1 surround sound, right, it has the sound effect output as a two-channel stereo signal to be used with stereo headphones. So virtual is not true 7.1 surround sound, all right? it it does basically the same thing um nowadays people just do 5.1 dolby digital surround sound right i think it'd be better than having a stereo headset to begin with it has a detachable noise canceling microphone that will reduce ambient noise so that they don't have to hear your background noise so if you got a dog barking in the background you got some baby crying or something or even your mom's just making dinner uh it'll cut that out because uh, no one wants to hear your dog or your neighbor's dog bark for like 10 hours while you're trying to play call of duty you feel me um it also has a mic mute indicator which is actually great because even with my a50s which is the flip to mute mic i still forget sometimes that it's muted i'm keeping 100 like <laughs> the fact that it comes with a indicator to let people know like hey you're muted that is so smart hyper x that is so smart because the amount of times people just be like, yo, I've been talking for like 30 minutes and no one has been talking to me. So like, are you ignoring me? Like, what's up? We got beef or something? It, it just, that that is the greatest invention. Why doesn't every headset have that? That, that is so smart. <laughs> I'm very happy to hear that HyperX. Good job. Uh, I have built in mic monitoring, which allows you to listen to your voice. So you, you know, if you're speaking too loudly or whatever. Personally for me, I don't like mic monitoring. Like I said, I, I talk a lot. I don't want to hear my voice over and over and over again. I don't talk that loud, but for some people who talk extremely loud, you know who you are, who are in the parties. Um, Y'all need this. And like, when you hear yourself talking, like, that means lower your voice. That doesn't mean get louder over top of your voice. That means, yo, you, you kind of loud, bro. Like, don't, don't tone it down, tone it down, bro. Tone it down. <laughs> but yeah, for those of you guys who... You know, your your friends might complain that your mic is a little bit loud. Just just listen to your own voice so that, you know, you can understand what they're hearing. Because y'all be making people ears bleed straight up. It's, that's crazy. Um, this headset is uh, compatible with the PC, PS4, and the PS5. 
and Nintendo Switch. So originally, HyperX had tweeted that this was a new PS4 headset. And then I tweeted them, I was like, is it going to be compatible with the PS5? And they tweeted me back, they sent me a DM saying that it should be compatible with the PS5 and everything like that. So I was like, all right, bet, I'll make a, I'll make a video on it. Because um, I wasn't going to do no headset that isn't compatible for next gen. Like, I don't know why would anybody would come out with a headset that isn't compatible for next gen. So I'm happy that they tweeted me that. And I kind of figured that it was going to be for next gen because it was coming out like literally right before uh, PlayStation 5 was coming out. But... Yeah, it's compatible with PC, PS4, PS5, and Nintendo Switch. So that's a lot of things, except it's not compatible with Xbox. But, you know, that's still a variety of things. I'm pretty sure you could probably even hook it up to your mobile device if you need to. This headset is in black and red and it is $149.49. So $150 for this bad boy. It is the new version of the Cloud, uh, HyperX Cloud headset, the wireless version. Um, I think... Personally, for me, I, I think it'll be a good headset, like straight up. Um, the audio, I've never had a HyperX headset. So HyperX, if you want to send me a headset for your girl to try out and become a believer and a fan, I'll be down, you know, straight up. Um, but I I think the audio is going to be decent, like straight up. But I don't know. For you guys who uh, have HyperX or you guys have used it, let me know in the comments if the headsets are like good. I heard good things about them. I know a few people who use them and I heard good things about them. So I'm assuming that this headset's gonna be good. And anything wireless, bro, I'm a fan of. So like the fact that this is wireless, the fact that it comes with a uh, dedicated mic mute indicator, the fact that it has 30 hours of uh, battery life, like I'm already sold, like I I'm ready. So you guys let me know in the comments section if you guys are interested in this. Uh, I'm trying to do more different companies of headset. Uh, I'm trying to do different headset companies because I know, again, not everybody likes Astro and since the whole Astro HDMI thing, people are upset about that, and it's a whole thing. Um, and not everybody likes Turtle Beach, so like, they'll still a series, do a HyperX, might do some Razer. Um, so yeah, you guys just let me know, and uh, this is just to help you guys out and inform you on information. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you leave a like, uh, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Um, thank you guys for all the support on these videos, by the way. It's been awesome, um, having a good time. And, um, bro, my neck is itching, bro. I don't know what just happened. It's like something just flew on my neck and bit me. Okay, I'm going to end the video there. I'm out. Peace.